I've watched Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network medical scenes. Now it's time to take a look at Disney Channel cartoons. Huge thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. Woo! Name's Bill, but you can call me your new lord and master for all of eternity. I would just like to say that as a rich capitalist, I welcome your tyrannical rule. Perhaps I can be one of your, uh, horsemen of the apocalypse? Oh, wow, that's a great offer. How about instead I shuffle the functions of every hole in your face? Oh, that would be painful if that was to happen. Mostly because the nervous system would be quite messed up. You'd have way too much sensation across your eye, because your lips have a lot of sensation. The blood flow would all be mixed up. The muscles, they'll be pulling in weird directions. Ugh. And how about some bubbles of pure madness? Huh? Was that an LSD balloon? Like, what happens to that gentleman's cognitive abilities? What am I watching? This is the weirdest show I've ever seen. Do people watch this? This is the most popular show on this. No, it's not. There's a flying eyeball with wings that shoots lasers to suck people up. What does it do when it gets a corneal abrasion? Or pink eye? And I ate a rat for dinner. I mean, all you have to do is poke it and you win. How about we stop questioning my decisions and get to camping together already? Who's with me? Me, because I want to go camping. Oh. Why did the tent light on fire? Is that a spider? I'm just learning about animals at this point. Ow! Careful! Pretty sure those ticks cause internal damage. Okay, I don't know if those were ticks, but putting honey on wounds, it's not the worst thing in the world. At our wound care center, when we have a patient, who has multi-drug resistant organisms on their like ulcers, on their wounds, on their legs. We sometimes use honey. There's like medicated honey that you could prescribe. I think it's called Medi Honey. Fact check. Him. Is this Mr. Beast Burger? Do you know I was at the opening of Mr. Beast Burger here in the American Mall or Americana Mall? What is it, Dream America? Here's the footage. I actually participated in the challenge, was hosting it. It didn't make a video though. Hmm, super burger, extra double burger, deep fried cotton candy burger? Deep fried cotton candy burger. You know, I think there is no food that exists in nature that is high fat, high sugar, with the exception of like breast milk. And that's, I, I think, all milk, really. Because <laughs> all milk comes from breast. Isn't that true? Because almond milk isn't really milk. Okay, is it safe to say all milk comes from breasts? Or udders? Are udders breasts? Teats? Teats, all milk. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> oh, uh, I. Bill, if someone's offering you a free meal, you take them up on it. Says every grandma ever, especially if you have a Russian grandma or a Greek grandma or a Latin grandma. Actually, it feels like all grandmas. Man, food, toys, and burger mascots, heaven does exist. See, we mess with kids. We give them caffeine, we give them high fat, high sugar diets, and then we're like, why aren't you behaving? Because the fuel you put inside of me is causing me to misbehave. I mean, that's just part of the problem. Burger Clown can be good in moderation, but it isn't what I'd call a balanced diet. That sounds like a good statement. If you ate Burger Clown every day, I bet it'd make you sick within a week. Ah, if your kid would get you sick within a week, I don't even know what this food is, but like, would you eat, if you ate fast food for a week as a kid, your body will adapt and probably, probably nothing negative will happen in the short term. But like long term, the consequences of that start piling up. In fact, the beginning stages of heart disease, like the initial layer of plaque that starts forming on your arteries deep inside your heart that can lead to a heart attack later on, happen in your teens. Let's take a minute and talk about ShipStation, the leading web-based order management and shipping software. It's designed to make retailers' lives easier by making processing, fulfilling, and shipping e-commerce orders more efficient. These days, everything's getting automated and I'm loving it. Automating my grocery and food deliveries has been a total lifesaver when I'm balancing my busy hospital schedule. That's why I appreciate how smooth running your small business can be thanks to ShipStation automation tools. If your business ships products, you know how tedious the manual 
difficult process of sending something out can be. With ShipStation, shipping no longer has to be a manual task, and as someone who runs his own merchandise line, I appreciate how big a game changer that efficiency can be. With their free trials and super fast setup, you too can start moving your merchandise and other products in no time. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business thanks to ShipStation, and 98% of companies that use them for one year become customers for life. Not to mention you can get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Dr. Mike today and sign up for a free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Dr. Mike. All right, let's get back to the shows. Code Black, Code Black. Code Black, isn't that like a terrorist attack at a hospital? I'm seeing anterior tablature. Anterior tablature? What does that mean? Kimmy. KP! What's with the goofy face? Rictus paralysis, a sure sign of brain frost. Brain frost, rictus paralysis, these aren't medical terms. And why are the masks on their chins? These aren't chin masks. There's only one cure, a new brain. Take mine, oh, it's no. the least I could do. My man just unscrewed his scalp and said, take mine. We've got to work fast. It's extremely contagious. Is there a form of paralysis that's contagious. I guess you could say certain things that can get transferred from insect to human can cause Bell's palsy, and that's like partial paralysis. I guess meningitis can cause paralysis. Uh, if you have a very advanced case, a meningitis has been known to spread at college campuses' dorms. That's why we recommend getting the meningitis vaccination. Hero time. <laughs> Yeah, you just rip out the brain off the spinal cord and you throw it in there, you'll be good. Again, Surgeon Simulator all over again here. Whoa, 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 what is happening? And if it's contagious and both of them are suffering with it, how does replacing one with the other actually solve the problem? Follow real logic, Kim Possible. So, uh, how's, uh, business? Is that Hercules? Someone skip leg day. You actually know what a doctor is? You've heard of my work? Uh, no. On both counts. I am Hippocrates. Ooh. I am a doctor. I cure the sick. Wow. And I don't think they had shiny white teeth back then. I have a feeling like they didn't even have toothbrushes or proper toothbrushes or toothpaste. So probably the hygiene wasn't on that level. You know what I'm saying? It used to be when you got sick. You shrivel up and die real quick. There wasn't much that anyone could do. You had to leave your tonsils in. We still leave tonsils in most of the time. But now those dark and dismal days are through. Because we have antibiotics. Cause a different kind of hero. We have sanitation practices. For things and breaks and belly aches, he's good. And we got vaccines. I'm doing the more accurate version of the song. Now Hercules is starry-eyed. He thinks he lied to me. A different kind of hero. One that does cancer screenings for free. Just like Dr. Hippocrates. You know we take the Hippocratic Oath. That's where that comes from. We have no time to lose. Fluids. Breathing shallow. Suction. Heart rate slow. Heart rate slow is strange because if someone's going into shock, their heart rate goes up to try and compensate for the low blood pressure. That's what shock means. I'm losing the pulse. No pulse means you start chest compression, chest compression, chest compressions. Hippocrates, you know this. Come on. Live. They didn't have stethoscope invented when Hippocrates was around. Let's look this up. Hippocrates date. He was in 460 BCE. 1860s, clearly not 460 B. What, what a misinformation rich show. Live you idiot! Yeah, yelling at people to live is not evidence-based. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, what, it's a boil. It's a, it's a duck boil. It looks like flipper boobutosis. That's a serious condition. Honestly, that could be gout. I'm just saying, gout, inflamed joint, single joint, hot, red, swollen, it's gout. 
Don't worry, pal. Goofy and I will find you a cure. No doctors. No doctors. Here we go. Everyone's just rubbing honey on everything. Well, that should help with the swelling. Bro, at least find out if it's gout before you rub honey on it. This next one's sure to work. A good old-fashioned foot massage. You shouldn't massage an infected area. It could spread the infection. Especially in that area. There's lots of bones, lots of joint space. Now to reharmonize the aura. This is like the biggest nonsense that people do, and I full on feel comfortable calling it nonsense. Because while there are things we don't know about the body, uh, crystals ain't one of them. So I was looking up at the stars, thinking about Jeremy. Wow, the people's head shapes in these cartoons really get interesting. And now I'm stuck in bed. Doctor's orders. So elevating a leg like that post-surgery is really ideal for decreasing swelling because uh, swelling follows gravity. And if you have your leg elevated above your heart, that means gravity will bring the swelling down. And you see that little device that she has above? That's in order to reposition oneself. What's that your brothers are building down there? What? Let me see, let me see. No way! You gotta stay off that foot. I mean, she could stay off the foot and get herself like one of those mobility scooters where like one leg is bent and the other leg is working. That's actually ideal. We don't want people to be bed bound for too long because that increases risk of DVTs, which can increase risk of pulmonary embolisms where the clot dislodges from the lower extremities and gets shot up into the lungs. And that's very problematic and an emergency. Diabetes is complex, but I explained it to kids. Click here to check that out. Lots of fun in this video. And don't forget to visit shipstation.com slash Dr. Mike to begin your 60-day free trial. As always, stay happy and healthy.